Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here for yet another readathon TBR video, and I'm gonna be honest, this is the one that I am the most excited about. A, because it's a really long readathon, it's longer than one week long. I just said long a lot. Long, 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 long. Also, it's Pokemon themed. And that is literally the most exciting thing. I wish that I could tell you guys that I just happened to be hopping onto the Pokemon bandwagon because of Pokemon Go, but I have literally been watching Pokemon and playing Pokemon since, um, probably I was like less than 10. I know I was elementary school age when the cards were really popular. Also, I wish that this was the amount of merch that I had from Pokemon, but it's not. I just happen to find little things to put in this video. I literally have Pokemon stuff all over my house and Pokemon Go is the best thing that has ever happened. Also, do you like how Charizard's just like, yo, Pikachu, get out of my area. He's like appalled. He's like, what's up, man? Why are you in my space? Okay, I'm gonna get into the TBR pile because I'm gonna be the very best like no one ever was and I'm gonna do that by reading books. Here are the books that I plan on reading. So in case you guys have not heard, which you probably haven't, because this is not a booktubeathon readathon, this is actually being hosted on a blog called redditmidnight.com, so I will leave a link to the original blog post about this readathon down below because there's a lot more um, information and details about it that I'm not going to get into in this video, so I'm just going to go over the books and how the system works. So this readathon runs for three weeks. It starts on Sunday, August 14th, and runs until Sunday... September 4th. So we have a long stretch of time, which makes readathons way easier to accomplish all of your challenges. If you are not trying to cram like seven books into seven days, we have a much longer time to get through all of the books. All of the challenges follow all of the gyms that are in the Kanto Indigo League gym situation. So for every book that you complete, you get a badge, as in if you won or competed at that gym and won, you get that badge. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of thinking about making my own badges. Do I know how I'm gonna do that? No, but it's an idea that's going on in my noggin. So that might happen. It's a possibility. Don't count it out yet. There's also really fun stuff, as in you can pick a Pokemon to be like your reading companion, and for like Every 10 pages you read, you gain CP on your Pokemon, and there's a competition through the whole readathon that whoever's Pokemon evolves the furthest and has the highest CP at the end of the readathon wins a prize. Um, all of the details for that are extremely detailed, so again, I will leave the blog post down below for how the point system works, but just throwing it out there, my Pokemon, it's gonna be Charmander. I could go with like Cubone because Cubone's like one of my favorites, but I really, I just got to start with my starter. Charmander's the best starter. If you disagree with that, let's fight, but fire type, man, it's the best. I literally have Charmander everywhere. Do you get it? He's a pocket monster. Do you get my shirt? This is like one of my favorite shirts. Okay, okay, I'm getting into the books now. My intro is now like four minutes long. I'm hoping I can cut that down. So here are the books. So the first gym in the Indigo League is the Pewter Gym. And in order to win the Boulder Badge, you have to read the first book in a series. And I'm going to attempt to read The Queen of the Tearling, finally, by Erica Johansson. Um, I believe the third one in the series is coming out late this year or early next year. And I have the second one. So I need to get into the series, so Boulder Badge, here I come. The second gym that you're going to be competing at is the Cerulean Gym. And in order to get the Cascade Badge, this is the water type gym, just in case you're curious, you have to read a book that might make you cry. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't cry that much at books, but when I do, it's usually ugly. But I don't really know what books are gonna set me off, like set the waterworks aflow in. But from what I've heard, I'm gonna read I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson because I know I'm like the last person in the world to read this book, but I have heard that it's a tearjerker and I need to read it so it's going on the TBR. The next gym that I will be going to is the Vermilion Gym and in order to earn the Thunder Badge, this is the electric type gym, you have to read a book with Thunder's Hype, a book that's on bestseller lists or that is just constantly talked about and I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of copping out here because it's a book that I don't physically own right now, but it's gonna be talked about and it's gonna be on a bestseller list. And for that, I'm going to read A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir because that will be out during the readathon. It's coming out at the end of August. 
so it'll be coming out right in the middle of the readathon so I'm gonna I'm gonna get that badge. And for the fourth gym, it is the Celadon gym. And in order to get the rainbow badge, you have to read a book that kind of focuses on diversity. And I am personally taking that a step further and reading a book that just kind of deals with LGBTQ plus everything, that whole list of letters that it is now. Um, mainly because it fits in with the rainbow badge and I think it's pretty fitting, but of the books that are on my shelves, one of the last diverse books that I have right now is The Vast Fields of Ordinary and this is by Nick Bird. Um, this is just a book that's been sitting on my shelf for a very long time and the protagonist is gay and it sounds like a heartbreaking book so it might also go with the book that might make me cry, but I have just been meaning to get to this for a very long time, so this is going to be my opportunity. The next gym is the Fuchsia Gym, and in order to get the Soul Badge, you have to read a book that has a great romance in it. And I mean, you can't get much greater than a love that split the world. So I'm pretty excited for this. I got this in my Owl Crate a couple months ago, and I've just been meaning to get to it. And I really do want to read it, so this is going to force my hand in reading it and I'm pretty excited about that. The next gym is the Saffron Gym and in order to get your Marsh Badge you have to read a book with paranormal or fantasy elements in it, anything with magical realism or fantasy or magic, stuff like that. And I'm going all the way with fantasy and I'm finally going to pick up The Sleeping Prince by Melinda Salisbury. This has again been just like, I wish I could say burning a hole in my pocket but burning a space on my shelf? Does that make sense? I don't know. Either way, I've been wanting to read this since the day that it came out. Actually since the first book came out but I just really need to get to it and it's somewhat short so hopefully I can just fly right through this. The next book is The Cinnabar Gym and in order to earn the Volcano Badge you have to read a book with a red cover. Um, I'm almost out of books with red covers at the moment that are unread on my shelves but I figured this book is fitting. And that is When She Woke. There's some red on the cover and the spine is like half red and the back is red so that counts, right? Um, this is a book that I have been wanting to read since I heard about it years ago. Um, it's about a girl who wakes up after she committed a crime that she was accused of and criminals are marked by their skin being dyed red. So I mean you can't get more fitting about a book with a red cover than with the person being dyed red, right? Right? So I'm I'm on my way to that volcano badge. And the last gym is the Viridian gym, and in order to earn your Earth badge, you have to read a book set in a post-apocalyptic setting. And again, I have kind of read through most of my post-apocalyptic books just because that was super trendy a while ago, and I read the crap out of all of them. So the last series that I have yet to get to that is definitely post-apocalyptic is the Angel Fall or the Penryn series. And I finally got the third one of this recently, so I just really want to marathon this trilogy. And again, perfect opportunity, gonna earn that badge, gonna read my books. So that is it for my TBR video. Hopefully I will be the very best, like no one ever was. Okay, I'll stop. I hope you guys are reading some amazing books. I hope you guys maybe will participate in this. Um, check out the link to it because it's a really fun readathon. It's actually called a read them all a thon. That's the hashtag for it and I love it. And I will see you guys on my next video.